today I will back to re uh, read uh, I will read this book and we are close to the end of this book I think I can finish it today and tomorrow because the remaining parts of this book is uh, really short so yeah we can finish it um we can finish it early soon let's start today i will read the chapter wednesday monday and tuesday the chapter monday is really scary listen wednesday the school paper came out again today i quit my job as school cartoonist after quitting the curious students came out and i didn't really care who they picked to replace me but everyone was laughing at the comic page at lunch so i picked up a copy to see what was so funny and when i opened it up i couldn't believe my eyes it was zooey mama and of course mr ira didn't change a single word of Rolly's trip zooey mama by Rolly jefferson hey beautiful lady do you want to go on a date with me i'm not a lady i'm just uh, one of those dogs with long hair, so no thanks to that date. Zooey Mama! I... To be honest, I cannot understand this... This series... This, um, this comic. So now, Rolly's getting all the fame that was supposed to be mine. Will you put us in your comic? Sure, hey, hey! Even the teachers are kissing Rolly's butt. I almost lost my lunch when Mr. Ward dropped his chalk in, his in history class. Zooey Mama, all the class uh, laughed. Monday, this Zooey Mama thing has really got me worked up. Rolly is getting all the credit for a comic that we came up with together. I figured the least he could do was put my name on the strip as the co-creator. So I went up to Rolly after school and told him that what he was gonna have to do. But Rolly said Zooey Mama was all his idea and that I didn't have anything to do with it. I guess we must have been talking pretty loud because the next thing we knew, we attracted a crowd. Fight, 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 fight. All the children stayed. The kids at my school are always itching to see a fight. A fight. Me and Rolly tried to walk away, but those guys weren't going to let us go until they saw us throw some punches. Like this. It is a punch. I've never been in a real fight before so i didn't know how i was supposed to stand or hold my fist or anything and you could tell Rolly didn't know what he was doing either because he just started prancing around like a leprechaun 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 i was pretty sure i could take Rolly in a fight but the thing that made me nervous was the fact that Rolly takes her karate. I don't know what kind of hocus pocus they teach in Rolly's karate classes, but the last thing I needed was for him to play me out right there on the black top. On the black top. Before me or Rolly made a move that was a stretch a scratching found in the school parking lot. A bunch of teenagers had stopped their picking their pickup truck and they started peeling out. I was just happy that everyone's attention was on the teenagers instead of me and Rolly, but 
all the other kids took off and the teenagers started heading our way. And then I realized that these teenagers looked awfully familiar. You see? The chapter Monday is really scary. It is like disgusting. That's when it hit me. There, uh, these were the same guys who chased me and rolled around on Halloween night, and they had finally caught up with us. But before we could make a run for it, we had our arms pinned behind our back. Those guys wanted to teach us a lesson for taunting them on Halloween night, and they started arguing over what they should do with us. And you know what? Can you guess? To be honest with you, I was more concerned about something else. The cheese was only the cheese was only was only a few feet from where we were standing on the black top, and it was looking nastier than ever. The cheese, do you remember it? The big teenager must have caught my eye, because the next thing I knew, he was looking at the cheese too. And I guess that gave him the idea he was looking for. I cannot read this. It is really, really scary. They are, they are really like mean. The teenagers. Rolly got singled out first. The big kid grabbed Rolly and dragged him over to the cheese. Guess what? Now I don't want to say exactly what happened next, because if Rolly ever tries to run for president and someone finds out what these guys made him do, he won't have a chance. So I'll put it to you this way. They met Rolly. Mm, 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 the cheese. Can you guess? They met Rolly. Eat that nasty cheese. I like cheese, but not that cheese. I knew they were gonna make me do it too. Oh, but I think that if Rolly eats the whole cheese, so. Mm, where is how how the teenagers find another cheese for bread? I think they they just made Rolly eat a part of the cheese. I knew they were gonna make me do it too, so I started a pa to panic because I knew I wasn't going to be able to fight my way off. Um, my way out of this situation, so I did some fast talking instead. I would, but I'm allergic, allergic, allergic to dairy. And believe it or not, it actually worked. You're luckily, a uh, you're lucky punk. I know, I know. I don't know why it worked. It it worked. I guess the teenagers were satisfied because they had made their points. After they made Rolly finish off the rest of the cheese, there it is go. Oh, poor, poor Rolly. They got back in their trunk and took off down the road. Me and Rolly walked home together, but neither of us really said anything on the way back. Rolly. I had to say this. Rolly looked really like a poor guy. Can you see it? Oh, sad. I thought about mentioning to Rolly that maybe he could have pulled out a couple of his charity moves, moves back there, but something told me to hold off on that thought for right now. Tuesday, at school today, the teachers let us outside after lunch. It took about five seconds to someone, uh, for someone to realize the cheese was missing from its spot on the black top. Hey, 
Everybody crowded around to look at where the cheese used to be. No one could believe it was actually gone. People started coming up with these crazy, crazy theories about what happened to it. Hmm. Somebody said that maybe the cheese grew legs and walked away. So stupid. It took all my self-control to keep my mouth shut. And if Rolly wasn't standing right there, I honestly don't know if I could have kept quiet. Hmm. A couple of the guys who were arguing, arguing over what happened to the cheese were the same ones who were egging me and Rolly on yesterday afternoon. So I knew it wasn't going to be long before someone put two and two together and figured out that we must have had something to do with it. Rolly was starting to panic and I don't blame him either. If the truth came ever came out about how the cheese disappeared, Rolly would be finished. He'd have to move out of the state and maybe even the country. That's when I decided to speak up. I told everyone that I knew what happened to the cheese. I said I was sick of it being on the black top and I just decided to get rid of it once and for all. For a second there, everyone just froze. I thought people were going to start thanking me for what I did, but boy, I was wrong. I really wish I had worded my story a little differently. Because if I threw away the cheese, guess what that means? I'm Mint. It meant I have the cheese touch. Everyone scream and run away. And I don't know what will happen next to me. So this is the end of the three chapter Wednesday, uh, Monday, and Tuesday. Goodbye, everyone.